How or when did you first hear of Buckethead? I was 10. My, my brother had shown me Buckethead. That was when he was in Guns N' Roses. Right. Just before all this lockdown got started initially last year, that I was so bored because I, I listen to music. I don't really watch TV. Same, yeah. And so then I went on Spotify and looking through. I found Buckethead and I'm like, yes, yes. And then it was the Redeem team. Okay, that was the song that freaking got me. <laughs> Such a good song. It's amazing. It's just a good one to start with that I reckon everyone will be able to know why without sort of understanding the beauty of Buckethead at the same time and his different variations. Yeah, like easily accessible. Yeah. So I think that's probably what, like, I, I don't think anyone could honestly hate that. So what are your, some of your favorite songs or albums by him? Light in the Fog, definitely. So that was in Paula Trench. Yeah. Um, that was a good album uh pike 99 pike 99 yeah the redeem team definitely because that was a moment where i was just pulled in uh belting man part two yeah the silent picture book is a great freaking album great album one of the best pikes by far oh, right i love it there's another one that i found just uh two days ago the other side of the dark oh yeah that okay no, seriously, if anyone's wanting to check out what I mean by you can feel his presence in his work, that album, that song, that's probably the most beautiful thing that I've ever heard. What about a song to dance to? Because I assume you like to dance. And... Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mallet <Melbourne> Strut. <laughs> oh, good song, yeah, funky. What about Jumpman? Do you know that song? <gasps> Jumpman? Oh, I love it. That's on the album. Monsters and Roblox. That's it, yeah. That would be a good song to dance to, I think. So many. Rope Light, even. I mean, I freaking love that. Erie Canal, you can so dance to that. <gasps> Three Wheeler. It's very funky, but it's also, in some ways, my own interpretation. I'm like, that is a piece of sass. I love it. That is incredible. And then, I mean, um, what's it like? What's the album? Electric Tears, like Padma Song. Oh, I love that album. That's my favorite, that Buckethead album, by a mile. Oh, like yeah. That's beautiful, too. Um, and it, actually, one thing that I love, too, is, like, healing um, inside, outside, everything. That is incredible, too. Um, gosh, there's so many good so ones. So many, yeah. There we go! Yeah, there you go. Wow. Um. <laughs> How long did that take? Mm, more than five hours. I think people need generally to kind of have a broader open mind. Maybe uh, as things appear in the world is not always what they seem to be. I think you should always dig deeper. I think one thing that is beautiful in the world is mystery and that curiosity for it. Like you never know what you'll discover. I mean, no, not everything is all the same we can't have one group of people and a group of people there and say you know what they fit there they fit there they don't because they have different uh uh at some point like they have similarities but they're all unique they're all different no one person is gonna match the other so how did the photo shoot come about it's what inspires me i guess how horror films inspired buckethead to this Overcome that fear of self-doubt and just do what you want to do. But when it's your inspiration and you have emotion involved in it, that's where true creativity and art comes from. I don't know how everyone else is going to perceive it. Like, I'm basically stripping away everything that doesn't work, uh, fairly present in that moment again. Um, the symbols of Bucky, because that's kind of literally the moment I had this vision and what I was feeling, like those feelings in it. In some ways, metaphorically, almost hidden. I get like my own individuality and, and creativity was hidden under kind of a, a fog of society in some way of how things should be done. 
and what's considered beautiful and what is, you know, n you know, you can't do that. You can use a piece of your personality in this photo, but, you know, a magazine will want that. I want to get more of me as a person, what I would wear, what I would dress like, my visions, my music taste, everything into my work instead of having it separate from, you know, social life away from work. I incorporate it all. And, like, that's what Buckethead's done. He, he's incredible. I get that hyper focus, right? And I remember listening to an interview where he said he admired that hyper focus of Paul Gilbert. And when he was kind of talking about it, it kind of made me feel, hey, you know what? I should probably use that to my advantage. I don't know what it is. My brain analyzes his music different, something that it just spiraled off this inspiration and passion again, which I think I was missing because I, I think I got so thinking like I had to do one thing one way, which is the usual way of doing things and kind of work on something separate in the background. And then I realized, like, it just, like, some things, it's like, once I've done one thing, I want to do the next thing and keep going, going. Which I think, again, is why I love his music, because there is so much of it. So much <laughs> of it, yeah. So if Buckethead does happen to be watching it, what would you say to him? Like, actually, thank you, because I thought I knew who my role models were. And in, in some ways, yes, they still are. I've never experienced someone who could affect me in such a positive way. I think she sort of gave me confidence to go and just do my thing that was different. I honestly think that he is probably, you know, he is just the most beautiful person in the world in every way. Like, just to see how he overcomes things and then being able to relate to that. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on and thank you for um, just kind of letting me do this. It's Thank you. I couldn't think of a better place for the shoot to end up. Basically a gift that I don't want any freaking anyone else to have. Just something that was linked to music or the meaning wouldn't be lost. I think the fact that it's a Buckethead fan base and form, I think that is something that's made me feel like, yeah, yeah, it's in the right place. Well, thank you. And keep on rocking Buckethead. Thank you. Wait, let me do it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Good job. Bye!